we're given matrix A and asked to find the eigenvalues and the corresponding eigenvectors. So looking in our notes below, an eigenvalue of A is a scalar lambda such that the determinant of lambda I minus A equals zero. So we need to solve this equation here for lambda in order to find the eigenvalues. And then the eigenvectors of A corresponding to lambda are the non-zero solutions of this equation here, which I'll be solving for vector x. But let's first find the eigenvalues, and I've already set some of this up. Here we have the determinant of lambda times the two by two identity matrix would be this matrix here, minus the given matrix A must equal zero. Performing the matrix subtraction, notice how we have lambda minus six, zero minus negative three, which is three, zero minus negative two, which is two, and lambda minus one. So the next step is to find the value of the determinant, which is this product minus this product, which again must equal zero. So we have the quantity lambda minus six times the quantity lambda minus one minus three times two must equal zero. Let's go ahead and multiply this out. We have lambda squared minus one lambda minus six lambda, that's minus seven lambda, plus six minus six equals zero. So simplifying, we have lambda squared minus seven lambda equals zero. Solving by factoring, we have lambda times the quantity lambda minus seven equals zero. So notice how we have lambda equals zero or lambda equals seven. So the eigenvalues are lambda sub one equals zero and lambda sub two equals seven. Now that we have the eigenvalues, we'll find the corresponding eigenvectors. And again, we do this by solving this equation here for vector x. So let's first find the eigenvector corresponding to lambda equals zero. So lambda sub one equals zero. So again, our equation is here. We have lambda i, which is this matrix here, minus the given matrix A, which is here, times the eigenvector, vector x, equals a zero vector. Again, performing the matrix subtraction gives us this matrix here. The components of vector x are x sub one comma x sub two, and here's a zero vector. So for our next step, we'll substitute zero for lambda. So this matrix would be negative six, three, two, negative one. Let's go ahead and solve this system using an augmented matrix. So the same system as an augmented matrix would be a two by three matrix, where the first row would be negative six, three, zero. The second row would be two, negative one, zero. And now I'll write this in reduced row echelon form. Notice three times two plus negative six would be zero. Let's replace row two with three times row two plus row one. And to make this element here positive one, let's replace row one with negative one sixth times row one. So negative one sixth times negative six is one. Negative one six times three is negative one half. And then negative one six times zero is zero. And now for row two, we'll have three times two plus negative six, that's zero. And then three times negative one plus three is also zero. And three times zero plus zero is zero. Notice how we have a row of zeros, which means there's an infinite number of eigenvectors. Looking at this first row, Notice how this tells us that x sub one minus one half times x sub two must equal zero. So if we solve this for x sub one, we'd have x sub one equals one half times x sub two. If we wanted to avoid fractions, we could multiply both sides by two, which would give us two times x sub one equals x sub two. So the eigenvectors corresponding to lambda equals zero would be vector x which equals, because we have an infinite number of vectors, let's parameterize this with the variable t. If we let x sub one be equal to t, notice how x sub two would be two t, which we could also express as t times the vector with an x component of one and a y component of two. 
But remember, the eigenvector cannot be the zero vector, so let's also say that t can't equal zero. Now let's find the eigenvectors corresponding to lambda equals seven. So we'll go through the same process again with lambda sub two equals seven. So again, here's the equation we have to solve for vector x. Performing the matrix subtraction gives us this matrix here, and now we substitute seven for lambda. So seven minus six is one, so we have one, three, two, and seven minus one is six. Again, let's write this as an augmented matrix and write it in reduced row echelon form. So the first row would be one, three, zero. The second row would be two, six, zero. Notice that negative two times one plus two would be zero. Let's replace row two with negative two times row one plus row two. So row one stays the same. Row two would be negative two times one plus two is zero. And then we'd have negative two times three plus six, that's zero. And of course, negative two times zero plus zero is also zero. Again, we have a row of zeros, which we do expect. Looking at this first row, notice how this tells us that x sub one plus three times x sub two must equal zero. Solving for x sub one, we'd have x sub one equals negative three times x sub two, which means the eigenvectors corresponding to lambda equals seven would be a vector x, which has an x component of, in this case, let's let x sub two be equal to t, and therefore x sub one would be equal to negative three t. If we want, we can write this as t times the vector with an x component of negative three and a y component of one. So any multiple of this vector would be a corresponding eigenvector, again, where t can't equal zero. So to summarize what we found, we found the eigenvalues of the matrix A are lambda sub one equals zero and lambda sub two equals seven. The eigenvectors corresponding to lambda sub one equals zero are the vectors x in this form here, where t doesn't equal zero. We can also say the eigenspace corresponding to lambda sub one equals zero is given by the span of this vector and the eigenvectors corresponding to lambda sub two equals seven are the vectors x in this form, again where t can't equal zero, and the eigenspace corresponding to lambda sub two equals seven is given by the span of this vector. I hope you found this helpful.